Hello everyone. We will continue the topic non-event based functionality. In the previous video, we learned about the sorting functionality. Now we will go for filtering functionality. Now, firstly, we will take the requirement. I will run the program. Suppose I will comment the logic for sorting and now we will learn the filtering functionality. We will take a requirement. What will be our requirement? I want the only those item numbers, or I'll say I only want the item numbers 10 in the output. As of now, you can see we are also getting the records with line item number 20. Suppose customer is saying, I only want the line item number 10 in the output. I only want those records where line item number is 10. So with the help of code itself, we can filter the output. Customer will not do any action. We will provide the filtering based upon the code itself. So I will go to my program. I'll go to change mode. Now to provide the filtering functionality, I will uncomment this parameter it underscore filter. I will provide some name of the internal table in front of it underscore filter. What will be the type of LT underscore filter, it will be same as that of IT filter. We'll see what will be the type of LT filter. I will double click. LT filter is of this type. I will copy this type. And I will declare in my program. Now I will declare lt underscore filter type whatever the type I copy. If I double click on this table type, it if I double click on this type, it is a table type. It means lt underscore filter is a internal table. I will declare work area ls underscore filter type. I'll pass the name of the structure which is used in this table type. This is the name of the structure. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the program. Now we will fill this internal table to achieve our filtering functionality. Now, what we will do, we will write a code to achieve the filtering functionality. For the best way, I will open the structure in a new session so that it will be easy for us to write the code. I will open the structure in a new session, my filtering structure. Now I will write the code ls underscore filter hyphen field name. We want the sorting. We want the sorting based upon item number. So what is the column name for item number? 
P O S N R. Post. Now we will fill rest of the details. We will use sign option low high these four things. Now, firstly, I will use sign ls underscore filter hyphen sign. We all know sign has always two values i or e. i means include, e means exclude. We want to include the value item number 10. So I will pass i. ls underscore filter hyphen. Now I will use option. Option. We know I am, we are only passing the item number 10. It means the relational operator will be equal to. If someone asks you that if customer want the line item number from 10 to 40, in that case, your relational operator will be between between because you want the line item number from 10 to 40 in our current requirement we only want to display the line item number 10 so we are taking the relational operator as equal to now we will choose the low now what is the value we want 10 we want the line item number 10. Now, we will not use high because we are only going for line item number 10. If customer wants a range from 10 to 40, in that case, you have to pass high is equal to 40. So, we will append ls underscore filter to LT underscore filter. We appended the record to the internal table LT filter and this internal table, we are passing it to this particular method, set table for first display. So it will filter the output based upon the item number only 10. We'll see in the debugging mode how it will work. I will put a breakpoint. I will pass the input and I will go for execute. I go to desktop three. I will just do F6, F6, F6. And you can see in the filter internal table, we have the column name postnar and our relational operator is equal to sign is include and we are passing the low value as 10 means it will only display those records where item number is 10. Now this internal table we are passing it to this method. Now whenever I will do execute you can see we are only only getting the records where line item number is 10. You can pass range also. You can pass suppose customer wants only those line item number with 10 or 40. You can achieve that also. So this is the way how you can achieve the filtering functionality. But in all these functionalities, customer are not performing any event customer is not doing any action. That's why it is called as non event based functionalities. Thank you very much. That's it in this video. Thank you.